this is Jody. Thanks for joining me today. I want to show you how to make this birthday card with this technique here. Some people call it a starburst or a sunburst technique. It's paper piecing to get this effect down here and I want to show you a quick and easy way to do that. First of all, I took four patterns of the designer paper from the package called Eastern Elegance. Each of these four pieces is one and a half by four inches. So what I'm going to do is take my paper trimmer and you can see there's a groove right here. That's where the blade actually cuts and I'm going to line up opposite corners right in that groove. So my opposite corners are lined up in the groove and I'll carefully set that down and just cut. So I'll do that for each of these four rectangles. Now you don't have to choose four patterns. You can have any number of patterns. Um, you want to, I just chose four for this project. And then cutting them into triangles will of course give me eight pieces. So the next important step is to take this piece of crushed curry cardstock. Let me pull the card back in for a moment. When you look at the card, you're not going to notice this piece of cardstock. This is the secret to making this work so easily. So this is crushed curry. This is five inches by two and three fourths. I'm going to take my snail adhesive and just cover this entire layer of cardstock with adhesive. And then I'm going to start with these two pieces here. And what's crazy about this is that the, the process of making this, you're going to think it's never gonna look right. But it actually, once you finish, it all comes into place quite nicely. So this I'm just going to line up here, keeping this straight edge in the center. Now I also want a straight edge in the center here, but I want this side of the paper. So I'm just going to butt it right up to that but it's not going to be straight on the bottom like this one is, and that's perfectly fine. Now you'll notice that I didn't just line this up right at the edge here. That's because I want a smaller part of the triangle up here to give me more room to fit all of my patterns in. So that's why I intentionally started down a little further. So I'm just going to continue pulling in the different patterns. When you're adding the layers, you'll notice if I just put this one here, I would have the corner showing. So I just adjust it a little bit and scoot it down so that that entire corner is covered. Almost done, just a couple more pieces here. And the last one here. So this crazy collage of paper is going to end up being that really cool design on that card. So the next thing I'm going to do is pull in my paper snips and turn this over. So again, that's where you see that piece of cardstock that all of this is attached to. And I'm just going to cut along the edges and get rid of all the extra. And that's what's going to give me my more regular shape. All these extra pieces are just getting cut off. out of the way. So now I've got this and then when I actually go to make my card, the base of this card is five and a half by eight and a half and it's Coastal Cabana cardstock. And then I have a layer of crushed curry that is five inches by three and three fourths of an inch. And that gets added next. And then this piece is what goes right over the bottom here. So it looks as though you maybe attached all of those designer papers to this layer, but like I said, the secret to success for this card is this separate layer right here. And so that will just go on right on top. And then all you would need to do to wrap it up is add the ruffled ribbon and your greeting in the center. Thanks so much for watching. For daily creative inspiration, visit my blog or find me on Facebook at Jody Reinert Stamps.